In this quick demonstration, we're going to have a look at the Exchange Pre-Deployment Analyzer tool. We can use this tool to verify that our current Exchange Server 2003 or 2007 environment is ready to deploy Exchange Server 2010. What it does, it provides a detailed report that alerts us of any issues within the organization that may prevent us from deploying our Exchange Server 2010. Now, when we have a look at this, we'll see that it's very similar to the Exchange Best Practice Analyzer. So all we'll do here, just come into Windows Explorer, just kick off the installation, Read through the license agreement. We're happy with all of that. Click the next button. Specify where we want to install this utility. Specify where we want to put the default data folder as well for all of the reports. Select our next button. Yeah, we're happy with all of this. Click finish. Launches up the utility. It's fairly quick. Select the options for a new scan. You need to specify the domain controller because one of the things we need to do for Exchange 2010 is just ensure that the Active Directory schema is correct. So we'll connect through the Active Directory. It doesn't take too long, it doesn't take this minute. Now we've done all of this, we just need an identifying label. Because I'm going to be installing Exchange 2010 on this server, we'll call it EX10, which is the name of my server, and we'll just do a test scan. Okay, and yep, we can see that we already have our Exchange 2003 server in place here. We can see we're doing a 2010 ready readiness check. Uh, what we'll do here is we'll just change the speed to say that we're on a fast LAN. It doesn't really affect anything, it just estimates a time down here. It doesn't actually give us this time. So I'll click Start Scanning. Where it goes. So as you can see, it's not going to take too long to do this scan. So yep, that's all completed now. So we'll just view the report of the best practice scan. Now that's all done. We can see we've got a slight issue here. So we'll just have a look through this, yeah. Active Directory Schema Upgrade is required, I was expecting that. Uh, we have a little, slight little issue here with the link state suppression is, is not enabled. So it's just telling us here that what we need to do is we just need to set these suppressed state changes configuration to 1 on MYC EX03. Now that will be done through the registry. So now that we've read all of this, we can see what we need to do. So the next thing to do would be to put all these prerequisites in place and then install Exchange 2010. So that's the end of this very quick demonstration. Thank you very much.